What's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, man? Not much. Are you ready? What's that? What's what? What are you talking about? That. Don't worry about it. I need to look. Dude, seriously, do not look. I have to look. No, don't touch it. I'm telling you. Oh, oh. Pick me up after you fix that. I warned him. All right, welcome back to another episode of SGT and Me. Of course, we got the car here as usual. And uh, today we're gonna do a, I consider it to be the first modification to the car. I mean, the first real mod, uh, a lot more involved. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. So let's head over to the bench here where I got the part and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. Of course, it is the center console replacement. This is the Korean version. And uh, why is it better? Well, you tell me why, Efren. It looks so pretty. So pretty and it covers up with a hideous uh, cup holder. So nice and clean when you fold it up. That's that's what I fell in love with when I first saw the uh, Korean car at our dealership. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, you want to pan over here a little bit. The tools you need. Phillips head screwdriver. So we got that. And we have here probably more than we need, but this is a 11 piece trim removal tool set. The company is uh, MIC Tuning. I got it on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. So if anybody else wants to order it, I think it was only like 12 or $13. And it also comes with one of those uh, pop clip removal uh, screwdrivers or tools. So it makes it useful when going underneath the car and popping all the things out. So. But uh, okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and head into the car and uh, get started, and hopefully it's a pretty straightforward uh, procedure. I hope. I don't want it to be too tough. I uh, guess we'll find out. We'll find out, won't we? And we'll, you'll be with us as we go through the steps. Okay, so we got the camera set up on a tripod. We got a screwdriver here. We got our awesome uh, cup holder mod already finished. So if anybody wants this, I'll uh, post some links in the description. This is a wonderful mod. We're about to make that Wesley Snipe money. It's all about the me out of life. <laughs> all right. If anybody knows that reference, post it down below. <laughs> so. I'm new to using this tool kit, so to be honest, it's, uh, this is going to be an adventure for me as well. So I got Efren back there as my reference guide to where the clips are, so according to what he's showing me, there should be one clip directly right here, and they all pretty much pop straight up. We're going to find out real quick how easy it is or not. <sighs> I just don't know what tools to use. They have them labeled. This is an upholstery removal tool. Remover narrow type? What do you think? A narrow type remover? Yeah, it looks really, really thin. It looks like you need a thin clip. Now how do these go, though? Yeah, I'm all new to this, guys. So you're, you're, you're going along for the ride with me. Might need actually, because we need to, according to it, we need to pry straight up, right? Mm-hmm. And this should all come out. I'm almost tempted just to pull up like we did in the Subaru. When we took off our center console in the Subaru, it, straight it out. just pulled straight out. We didn't need no tools. I just got the tools to be extra safe. You know, kind of want to take care of this car the best I can. Don't want to uh, damage anything. Let's move back a little bit here. Let me see if I can get this in here. I can do the same over there. Oh, yeah, that work. Yep, and just pushed it in. It actually, yeah. Uh... Okay, first one's up. The next one is about right here. Mm -hmm. About four inches. I can see it from there. Looks like it's coming up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I felt that one come up. All right, the next one. Another right four in, inches. A little bit deeper in, right? Mm -hmm. Right around the cup holder. Or the end. Uh, sort of the front of oh, it? Yeah, no, it's just coming off real easy once you get it going. So would you say you'd be able to do it without the tools? Uh, it's hard to say, actually. But it's coming. Everything's coming up so far. Okay, next one. Oh. That's it. That's and it. Just go to the front. front. Okay. So the, the third set is towards the front of those, that little pocket holder there. And those are right, in, right there. That's it, okay, nice. i tell you what though, the tool does make it easier. I, I, I like it. It's, so that yeah. is a recommendation to buy it. <laughs> I, I say so. One more, right? Yeah, right there, look. Okay. Oh, this one came back in. There you go. That's it. She's off. Okay. Ooh, look at all the goodies inside. Okay. 
here's where the fun part begins. Okay, can the camera still be still good? Mm -hmm. Alright, so of course you're gonna have to take get a couple screws here. These come down and out. So you go over here. Oh, and don't do what I did with uh, my Subaru. I lost one of these down inside. I don't think I ever found it, did I? Mm -hmm. Well, we can get a magnetic tip screwdriver. Yeah. This is where it comes handy. And also one of those inexpensive magnetic bowls that you can put your screws in. Oh, yeah. I think they're nice. like $5, $6 at Harbor Freight. Since Home Depot won't answer my emails. <laughs> okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to take these wires off first so I don't uh, damage them. But uh, it's a little tough in there. Got a little pin. You push it down, and then it should just be able to wiggle it out. But uh, my fingers ain't working right now. You got those Mickey Mouse fingers, man. Oh, there it goes, man. Tough, okay. Got that. I'm going to leave that one in just because it feels like a pain in the butt. So I'll just jump to this part here. These are magnetic tips. Not? Nope. So, I haven't even used them. Magnetic tip screwdrivers do help. I'll tell you that. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of screws in here. Okay. So you're gonna have a total of five screws holding the uh, this section in place. So make sure you get all those out. Keep them in a safe place. So you don't lose them. And the tip of your screwdriver. It's a good place. <laughs> oh, one screw down. We'll find it. It's okay, it didn't go inside. Yeah, it's kind of it's, it's a lot of a lot more involved than I thought. part comes out. We're good on that. Now we got the, uh, the drive buttons here, which should be, let's see here, should be these two, three. How many is on that one? Three. three. Yeah, left one, two, and then one back here. Um, what it looks like is this does push forward, so you will need to disconnect this no matter what. This one right here has to come off, so you ain't got a choice. So you, got, you must take it out because the uh, those actually go in from the top down. So, not the easiest thing, I'll tell you that. If you're used to working on computers, you're okay. You're used to these wires. So once you get that done, you can lay that aside. Now you can work on this. Uh, we're going to go over back, I think, uh, to the bench here outside the car. We're going to go ahead and take these out and swap them into the new one. So uh, we'll be right back. Okay. So we got the three screws here. One, two, and three. These hold in the uh, parking brake. And, uh, oh, geez, I already forgot what my own car. You know, you just, you just do it. You don't think about what's there half the time. You just use it. But, uh, yeah. Holding on these wonderful electronics. Keep your screws. Don't lose them like me earlier. What you talking about? <laughs> I'd say just hold on to this little uh, cable guide thing here, so that way it doesn't fall straight down. Put your screw undone. Okay, put that aside. It should just pop out. Nope, it's got little, um, I don't know, the camera picked those up. You got little clips, one on each side, so those you need to bypass. Looks like, let me see. Okay, let me go get one of the uh, removal tools, or actually I got a flathead here. We can use that. See, flathead, flathead. Okay. A little bit of boom, got that past it. What you're, you're pushing on the uh, chrome part at this point. Okay. And it pushes right out. Okay. okay. Now we got the drive mode button out of there. Clean it off. A little bit of gunk. Alright, okay, so let's go over to the new one. You want to flip it over, same thing, should push it down, it should snap right in, and you got the hole, so it'll fall right into place there. Okay. Interesting, I'm not sure how it sat on the other one. Once, maybe once you screw it in, the screws will pull it up completely, but uh, let's go ahead and put those in right now. Take a shot. Get that on. Get these two.
Okay, as you tighten these screws, it is cinching it up. So watch your pins, they should pop out once you get, uh, they should snap it back into place once you get enough. But just watch those, once you hear them snap in, uh, that's, you've gone the, the, enough distance, you don't want to overdo it. So I'd say just keep going back and forth. Rotate around as you go. It should be almost there. That's, that's pretty locked in. I don't want to fight it anymore because right now it's perfectly smooth on the front. Um, I mean, it is literally probably... Oh, man, I don't even know if the camera can pick that up. It is like a millimeter from snapping, but right now when I push these, uh, or from snapping, what do you call it, snapping closed or snapping in place, it's right there, but the screws are pretty much bottomed out. So I, I'll do another quick little... Quick little tighten here, but... Uh, That's it. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with uh, going any tighter. They didn't. It didn't seat properly, so just so you know, uh, maybe it'll snap in place down the road. But right now, it's just shy of actually clipping it in place. So uh, now we'll head back into the car and go from there. Okay. So um, what we discovered is this part is the same as what's in the American version. These are identical. These are duplicates. What's different is obviously the cup holder. Now, when they shipped me this, this cup holder is not attached at all. It's just hooked by a little clip. So unsnap it, pop it off, and you have to remove this screw and this screw put it down and then screw it in through it so you need to you have to take these out uh, before you get that all going before you install it or else uh, it'll just fall down as you're trying to use it so one screw here what i hope is these aren't specialty screws like longer ones that we need that's that's one thing i'm a little concerned about because usually you might need something like that now uh, what do you think ever think it needs longer screws Find i think out. it might be all right because it goes into the parts right on it, like the other one. And it actually will snap in. It's got a snap clip right here, right here. And you see that on camera? Mm -hmm. Got one right there, one right there, and then one on the other side, which is obvious, so. Oh, there goes one. Oh, I can feel it wanting to go. Where is it? Do I already hook? Oh, almost. Okay. Yep, that's it. So it just pushes in. Get your screws back into place here. Oh yeah, that's good. Plenty of bite, you can tell. Remember this is all plastic. Don't go all crazy on the screws. Once you feel it tight, tighten, you're good. Don't overdo it. Okay, now she's nice and pretty. Oh, it's coming along. We got a parking drive mode installed. This now perfectly lined up. Uh, let's see, next step, let's go get our... Uh, Seat warmers and things and coolers, get those buttons back installed, plugged back together. And uh, yeah, we're almost done here, so let's head back into the car. Okay, so before you can put uh, this part back in, you have to remove a couple screws. You got one right here, one right here, and then one connecting to this part as well. So those three have to come off, and the other two holes are already uh, visible, so you don't have to remove those. So we got the one, two, three, four, and then one under here, five. So we'll go ahead and get those uh, just back into place here. Shoot line right up. It should be. Yeah, a little longer. Mm -hmm. So you want to make reference of the longer screws and make sure you get them back in the right spot. So if you have to, like I said, if you got a part that overlaps another part, obviously mm -hmm. it's going to be the longer screws. Oh, okay. Obviously, the three screws that you took out, I goofed up, so that's what these videos are for, so you don't mess up when you do it, right? So the longer screws go with the overlapping parts. Correct. And that should be the three you removed, should be longer already. Use a fast forward picture. 
Cables look like they're all the way, Efren? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what I was going to do? Before we get into that, I'm going to look at something and uh, we'll get right back to you. Okay, so I said let's take a pause for a second. Well, I had a few minutes to think it over and uh, it's time to get some drilling on. You're probably thinking, what the heck am I talking about? Well, pan over here. Okay. So obviously we're going for a clean look here, and uh, of course, with this car, we don't get the charging, uh, the wireless charging, so, okay, my phone sticks out. Now, I want to use Android Auto, I plug it in, I got all this crap laying here, okay? I can't close this now. It's ugly. We already talked about how we like that nice clean look, right? Ephraim won't get in my car until I fix this mess. Mm -mm. So, what I'm going to do until... We come up with the wireless charging, and I can figure out how to do that one. Um, we're going to take and drill a hole right through here. You won't be able to see it. I'll be able to fish my USB cable through the center here. And then we're going to drill another hole back here, right below this. So what can I do? I can leave my phone in here, plugged into the car, run everything, and it'll all be nice and clean. So what you're going to want to do is get a small drill, and Efren's got this small drill. Relby, you know you want to sponsor us. Home Depot. Oh, it's Home Depot again? Got that Home Depot. Giving up on them guys. Mm -hmm. So get the smallest drill bit you can. This is PVC plastic. You want a pilot hole, okay? So don't just go full bore and get the biggest uh, drill bit. Because you, well, depends on your USB cable, but I'm going to need, mine is I think, what, a 3 8 in the end. So, but if you drill into this side here, you can't see it. No matter, a lip. I mean, you, you have to lean extremely all the way forward to see the hole anyway. So it's going to be a good place for it. So, go ahead and get the pilot hole drilled. Go from there. Oh, nice and easy, just like butter. And then, I'll get the pilot hole drilled down here. This one you may not be able to see, but it's obvious. Once you get in there. You just gotta have it out of the way of that little pocket. Correct. That you're gonna put your little piece back on, so. That one right there, this right here. Oh, and don't drill through your wife's glasses. <laughs> Unless you wanna sleep on the couch tonight. She would have not enjoyed that. Okay, once you get your pilot hole drilled, Go ahead and switch to your regular size drill bit. By the way, this is Efren's uh, drill. This is very handy for small spaces, I gotta tell you that. Mm. Relby. Be gentle, let it, let it do the work. Oh, you're going over the cover. Yeah, I kind of wanted to. It's okay. actually just a tiny bit. That way, the cover can kind of make like a... Uh, what do you call it? Like a seal, in mm -hmm. a way? If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. This modification right here just goes to show you how much of car guys we are. We're not doing any of this just because we want to be uploading videos on YouTube or anything. It's to make your cars and your life better. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> just taught you a lesson. Don't do that. Don't no, go fool. That's why I said be careful. USB <laughs> does bite, so be awfully careful. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a whole new piece. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, here I'm gonna go from the inside out. If I can. No, it's not gonna happen. Okay. 
You gotta be a serious car guy to be drilling into a fifty thousand dollar car. <laughs> Make sure you remove all the little plastic shavings. And it uh, should be good, alright. I think I got them all out. Well, see if this works, moment. Up truth, guys. Don't tell me I gotta go more than three eighths. Well, I may need to. Yeah. What if you wiggled, wiggled it a little, a bit? That's what I'm trying. Let me try. A little wiggle wiggle. The inside one though, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. The only problem is that one's really difficult to see. question to ask Kia, why do the American versions don't have the wireless charger? Man, we didn't get a lot of stuff everybody else got. That was definitely one of them. That I was a little I was a little disappointed in among the others. I know a lot of people that also the same thing. They were looking forward to having those wireless uh, charging, but we didn't get it unfortunately. So well we just created. I made my own. <laughs> now you can too. I think we're ready to go, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's it. We just gotta snap it back down into place and uh, remove all the little uh we call it stuff that films. Let's see it's gonna dry run here. Look good on that side? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, ready? Moment of truth, I guess. Does that look like it's lined up pretty good? Yeah. Snap one. Mm -hmm. This one looks like it's binding a little bit. I don't like the way that feels. It's not the cable that's binding on, is it? No, they've got, um, material that's around the uh, uh, shifter here it's got like a, a grippiness to it so I think it's uh, actually like binding because mm. uh, right now everything's lined up yeah everything looks good on this one this one snapped in without an issue oh, that side is that going in yeah you just need a little bit more in the middle there it is oh, that's good over here I can see where it's binding up and I'm not sure why Yeah, that still has place. I know it's not that. It is right here with the shifter. There, you go. there it is. Don't peel that, that off until we get a close-up of it. So you can peel it off. Everybody loves that sound. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah. Get close up. You good? See give, it a, give it a click. Um, or should we take it off first? Yeah. Make it all look nice and clean. Oh, so much better. I'm telling you guys, if you do this mod. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Yeah, that's how we should have got this car. Mm -hmm. Not all Americans drink massive drinks, okay? No big guy. We don't need no giant. Oh, and that's one thing we found out. So beautiful. So, the cup holder up front is the same exact size as our current cup holders in the United States. The one in back is a half inch smaller. So, that's the difference. Same size, a little smaller. What do you do? It's I a can, smaller one comes in handy. I can still fit Sometimes a soda. Sometimes you get small cans or like a, a thin yeah. Red Bull or something like that. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. always slopping around. No, but this is good. Get you uh, some uh, close-up shots of this here in a second, and uh, we'll end the show and call it good. Till next time, guys. Be right back with you. All right. Well, I think this is a successful modification. Efren, you agree? Yep. All right. So we got the uh, changed out here. Looks nice and clean. Much better. We got the USB cable ran. Um, that was a bonus. You know, I was thinking about it, but not sure how I was going to do it until I got this open, so I'm happy with it. Let's see. Uh, the only thing I, I would remove it 
would be if we can get that wireless charging in our cars, and that would be a modification I definitely would do, because my phone and my wife's phone are both uh, the wireless charging type, so that would be awesome to be able to do that. So, But I'll leave you with a link down below for the uh, eBay uh, seller on those parts. That way, if you want to do it, you can uh, check them out and get them from them, from him. It took a, oh yeah, it took like two days. I think I mentioned that in my last video, so it got here really fast. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Oh, thanks for subscribing. Jeez, we got like it's over 600. Mm -hmm. 637, I think last time we saw. And then the views are just like crazy. So seriously, we appreciate that. I wasn't expecting any of that. You know, we just kind of did this for fun. But uh, hey, as long as we get people watching stuff, we'll do what we can with uh, what little extra time we have. So we'll keep the videos coming. But uh, until next time, drink a big gulp.